against Slimbo. Generally okay with common relics here. I guess Rare Relic is better against Slime Boss because of Stone Calendar not being useless. It's an okay Preserved Insect Act. It's not the best Art of War Act. Sorry, not Art of War. Um, Ancient Tea Set. It's not the best Ancient Tea Set Act. In fact, I would just go ahead and say it's a bad Ancient Tea Set Act. Um... If we get common relic and it's strong, we try to go this way. Which is okay into slime boss, actually. Because against slime boss, you're pretty happy to like add an extra dagger spray or two to your deck, which then results in you being better at killing elites. I think I like common relic. Bag of prep. Nine cards starting hands. Alright. I am no longer on a silent streak. It was good while it lasted. I am generally pro, pro for one acro. That doesn't help me with the whole killing elites thing. Is this Jorb's fella using a game deficit? Possible. Seventeen. Gee, I don't know about that. Alright, I think this is zero damage jawworm. Gotta take those. Get your koozie diamond! Z. Oh my god, I think I have to take Bane. So I can go this way. I can just give up. But, like, I still have to beat Slime Boss somehow. I have to take Bane and find any kind of poison damage. I feel about this. No. Just take gold to go to the shop. It actually makes the shop pretty good at this point. There's a thousand cuts, I think. Ooh. It's probably an orrery, actually. I really like Thousand Cuts, though. And I really like th Thousand Cuts with a 9-card starting hand, too. I think that makes it particularly good. I can go a Thousand Cut, Bouncing Flask. Or I can pay even more money than that for 5-card rewards. I think I just go Thousand Cuts, Bouncing Flask. I think this just solves all of my problems right now. No bandages. It's too bad. Ari could be anything even a thousand cuts. Fruit. Not wrong. Another bouncing flask or a dagger spray. We really just want to get better at spamming cards now. Now that I have a thousand cuts already. Take one dagger spray because it's a slime boss act. Oof. I don't think I die out right here, but that was not a very good turn one.
Just in general, would have rather not fought Gremlin up, to be honest. Endless second is pretty good here. I'm gonna take off footwork over it. I think I can go this way. It's. I really thought I was gonna cruise through an elite that wasn't Gremlin Nub and then be able to upgrade. That just didn't happen. This saved me one health this turn. Yeah, it was just wrong. Okay, whoops. Still played footwork, I think. Although... I think played footwork actually would have resulted in me taking one more damage there, I think, ultimately. Anchor is... making my turn one even better. I thought that game had bugged. I was like, where are the rest of my cards? Which McLeads? I'm doing okay. 34 is the split. And we'll take one more damage to set up to kill next turn. Uh, well, I don't really love that. I take blade dance with thousand cuts, sure. I think with Speed Potion I beat everything. Don't love the idea of super late max HP sentries though. I have to rest against those. I don't know. I can go right here. That can be Gremlin Up, which kills me. Okay, right, we'll go left then. But going left, I think I have to rest. I think sentries deal me too much damage. I don't know. Arguably, resting kind of just makes me not have thousand cuts upgraded, which seems kind of awful against sentries actually. Mm. <laughs> Atheosis would have been real good. Okay with the striker move. Strike is a very bad card. I'm stuck. I don't think the deck needs a catalyst. 
italicized sentries. is worse to act one super early sometimes depends a bit different decks have different weaknesses they do tend to benefit more from the buff than other elites would Like, they have 12 metallicize here instead of 4 metallicize, effectively, because there's three of them all getting 4 metallicize, if that makes sense. I just have to continue drawing a defend every turn. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't have said it. Couldn't have said it. That's really on me. Some chance to take no more damage. Woo! Sometimes, like max HP on Lagavulin or Grumble Knob can be a lot worse, though. Cards seem bad. Upgraded Deadly Poison has had some decent runs for me recently. I think it's okay for it to have a rest this run, though. They only G money, and it's a $15 donation. It's a four trans lifeline, I appreciate it. Ox Potion's real good against Slime Boss. Malaise is really good, just in general. I really want to upgrade Thousand Cuts. I'm gonna choose to believe. I have some good potions for the fight too. Alright, so I survive this turn, and then I win. Also, I guess I can split this turn. I hit six times. It's 30 damage from the potion. Upgraded 1,000 cuts is just 1,000 cuts. The unupgraded one is 500 cuts. It's uh, poorly named. I'm definitely on low health now. But I still have good potions. I... So 
76. Okay. Probably Graham. It's a ten dollar donation to support Trans Lifeline. Appreciate it. Get into Mother Lays could take a nightmare, but I don't really have enough energy for it. The upside of taking a nightmare is nightmare footwork wins the game. If I can ever like get to a point where I reliably do that. I'd rather just have another malaise at the moment. One footwork plus two malaises feels like it also wins the game pretty easily. Yes, this is kite, but it's a pretty bad hovering kite. The other ones are worse. Oh god. Game wants to kill me! Game actually really wants to kill me though. This is... I mean, that's not what you want <laughs> when you look at an act 2. And then it's champ at the end. Good grief. Good grief. Oh, that's actually really gross. Thousand cuts deals more damage than bouncing flask, I think. So just pull my lays here. I don't think that's right. Thousand cuts and bouncing flask are about the same, I think. Get this one to take a card out of my deck. An important lesson to take away from the Nightmare Clip is that you don't have to understand what's going on. Some things are just not knowable. has been a bit better than Bouncing Flask would have been. One short? Cool. Cool. Okay. Ah, they're trying to run! I don't blame them.
there an acro with kite? I think so. Big Dance also good. Looking forward to it to us wrap. I meant to play Malaise there. 25. Cool. The yeah, acro cost me a four health, but I thought it was worth it to try to draw out of the turn. Wow, that has just decided to stop working. It's just completely stopped working. Plan is very good. I don't really want these. I think the hallway fights are terrible for me. We just try to beat an elite. I'm gonna take this. I have a nine card starting hand. Lantern's pretty good. Um, I can't really take pain here, so I have to upgrade something. I got a lock page. Thanks to twenty-five dollar donation. Just support trans lifeline. Appreciate it. I'm just going to upgrade my lights. It feels like, um... Alright, I can beat this one with double malaise, probably. You would think. And Thousand Cuts is pretty good against the other ones. Not loving next turn. But I mean, if I just take a bit of damage here and then I never get attacked again, that's fine, right? That's okay. Next turn looks kind of bad, actually. Okay. Oh, blade dance. Sure. I can die next turn. I would rather not. But it's kind of likely. Good. Good. How's the spire doing? I have played so many close runs recently. Wow, those rewards were good. I've played so many close runs recently. It's been fun. Enjoying the Spire of late. Thousand Cuts turn one, please.
Do I want to get attacked next turn? Not really. I think I win now. I think I'm now heavily favored to win the run. Sometimes it doesn't take much. And the mummified hand is uh, an awful lot. I want to hold. Let's actually hold Gamble. I can't hold Blade Dance, unfortunately, because if I get attacked by this, it just isn't good enough. I've been breathing through my mouth recently instead of my nose, and I gotta say, I really feel like I'm like unlocking more of my hidden potential this way. I think more people should try it. You can get more air per breath. I think it's mostly because I have a stuffy nose because of the seasons, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Literally a mouth through there. You gotta do what it takes to win. Wait, I have to be a champ still. Huh. That's kind of awkward. I'm gonna. First. First can do some fun things. I'm gonna take Gremlin Horn, and then this floor is relatively safe at this point. I don't think it's safe enough to upgrade footwork. Um I think I still have to rust. That's not like a worthless rust. Alright. No slavers. don't know that it's really possible for me to take damage anymore. In fact, I didn't play a strike. I guess I've completely checked out of the fight. <laughs> I've just decided that I won. <laughs> it could be true. Usually in through the nose, out through the mouth. Uh, that's like how you do focused meditation type breathing. I don't think that's how they'll breathe all the time. Very happy with this lantern that I have. The right hasn't been too bad. We'll be removing it soon, though. And then we had three more malaises. I think we have enough malaises. Wait till zero times sixty-nine. I think. It's actually impossible because Thousand Cuts will kill it when we block the single attacks too fast. Sorry. But 
either gamble or a blur. Such a good calculator gamble. I think it has to be gamble. I am a little worried about the champ fight and blur is a good card there. We're getting everything in play on turn one. It's very good. Do I want this more? So upgrading like plans and footwork is very good. I guess I do. This potion's good for the champ fight, actually. I should be fine. Yeah, let's upgrade plans and footwork. Or at least plans. Maybe upgrade burst over a footwork. I feel like I watched one of the movies recently, the movies that people like. I don't remember which one it was. But I think I might have thought it was okay, or maybe not that good. <laughs> anyway, good chat. Sounds like it made quite the impression, yeah. Well, somebody mentioned Knives Out, and then I was like, oh yeah, like that one thing that I... I think I watched it maybe, but I forgot it. Still haven't watched Oppenheimer. Someday. Need a whale. Easier to get your sang whale if you take it when it is offered, I suppose. You could take a cultist potion to make the champ fight actually free. Maybe I need to. The way I'm currently planning to win it is burst on bouncing flask. Which should work. But I might have to upgrade Bouncing Flask for it to work. Ah, oh. uh, no, I can just use Upgrade Potion for it, I guess. Is it an Art of War? We remove a Strike. Probably okay. Remove strike, art of war, backflip. And well laid plans. Why leave Wraith then? It's a great question. Should I remove Wraith, not Strike? How bad? Maybe I'll get bailed out somehow. Maybe we'll get a blue candle.
Wait. I can retain three. Maybe I should start doing that. I'm keeping this malaise for phase two. Can't cleanse this poison between phases, yeah. We should be able to hit it pretty low. Yo, man, thanks for the 13 months. Happy Sunday to you, too. Seems like a big number. Love that. a piercing whale to get rid of the extra stuff. I guess I could also just malaise. Uh... Gets rid of the extra strength. Next turn I have Piercing Whale, Neutralize. This is fine. I don't need to do anything here. Back flip. I have to deal 111 damage still. So that's a thing. That's it? Pretty sure that's it. As long as they don't get hit again. Should have kept a dagger, probably. Just kill. Good. Yes, it does. All right, GG champ. Didn't need to do anything super extra to win that fight, which is nice.
Do I like mysteries in general and mystery detective games and puzzles? I liked Ooper Den. Ooper Den was sweet. And Venom's definitely a bit better with Mummified Hand, but I don't think I want it. I don't think I want Bullet Time, I don't think I want Grand Finale. I have never really played GTA games. Hmm. If I took bullet time, I could take Sneko here. This is Pandas or Pyramid, I guess. With double well laid plans and a mummified hand, Pyramid is kind of, you know, worse than usual. I don't feel like that's an outrageous claim. If I take up pandas, I'm not sure I can block anymore. So. What if I skipped here? What if I skipped Sneko, pandas, and runic pyramid? That would be a thing I have never done before. First Catalyst. No block though, right? So I got worse at blocking. There's a five elite path through the middle of the sect. I don't ever get bird face turn anymore. Remember when I used to get bird face turn? Like uh like last run, for example? Why does that never happen anymore? Forbes, why do you always play runs without bird face turn? Doesn't this ever tell you if it's worked or not? I don't think it has yet. Is I right? That's wrong. Easy. Easy. All right. Oh shit, I have a gremlin horn. I don't think I knew that. Didn't I get that like halfway through Act 2 or something? I've had it for a while. I don't think I want a dagger throw with Art of War. These are just four attacks, basically. I think I'm good. Smoke bomb ever? I don't think so. Okay. 
and it was so easy. This game is so easy. Need another footwork and a dodge and roll. Any footworks and dodge and rolls? How about that? That one helps. I think poison potion's probably better than speed potion. Your footwork? Nice. Thousand cuts regret. Neutralize. Parasite. Blade dance. Parasite. Regret. Blade dance. I want to blade dance. No, I don't think so. Accuracy, I don't want that either. Uh, another footwork. Yeah, another footwork. Let me try this another footwork. It could also be another malaise plus. It could be another escape plan plus. I think it's just a footwork. If you burst into burst plus, does the second burst plus trigger effect? But I don't remember how that works. It's not... It starts off being a confusing thing, and then the way that it actually works is also confusing. Even if you started off understanding that it was confusing, it's still confusing anyway. Also, I think it changed at some point. And when things have changed at some point, I tend to just, like stop caring how they work. But if they just change again, what's the point? What's the point of remembering if it's just going to change again? I could have taken Ghost and Jar footwork there, but I liked footwork. It's really tempting to burst Doppelganger. Let's burst Bouncing Flask instead. I should have played neutralize. Uh but this damn missed. Hit! Hit. Rescued. No the boot. No copy of the boot. Unlucky. Or footwork some block cards. You can change that probably. Wait, maybe we can. I didn't realize quite how few block cards I had. <laughs> I have burst. I can burst a block card. Are. Glad you enjoyed the book. I am honored that you read and enjoyed it. Nemesis is dead. I found a dream catcher and four cards that are not dodge and roll. That's too bad. I don't think any of these help. 
I could upgrade another footwork, or I could rest for a card reward. There are some very good cards, like Backflip, for example. Oh my, Backflip is a good one. Backflip's a very good one. Also upgrade Catalyst, I guess. I guess that's allowed. Maybe that's better. Let's just upgrade Catalyst. Never have to worry about damage again. It's not quite true. It's almost true, though. Concerned that none of these are thousand cuts. For some reason. I don't really know what's up with that. Next turn, I have all sorts of crap. Okay, hold Piercing Whale, Cloak and Dagger, Calculated Gamble, Cal Calculated Gamble, Cloak and Dagger, Piercing Whale, Blade Dance, actually, probably. I should be able to block everything and kill a bunch of stuff. I forgot I played out maneuver to be honest. That was a good choice though. Thank you, passed to me. This whole year, right? Easy game. Yeah, Gremlin Horn's okay, it turns out. Who knew? Best thousand cuts you've ever seen? Thousand cuts also, okay. Kind of similar reasons. I think it's backflip over tactician. Weird. I can also just take a dodge and roll if I want. Yeah, I think it's definitely backflip or dodge and roll over tactician though. And then which one it is, is a bit hard to say. I feel like backflip. riddled for lethal just about. Like actually unironically though. Riddle me this Batman. Is it Batman or THE Batman? 
But the Batman... Blur over Catalyst Plus. I'm pretty sure it's Blur. I don't know if it's Starbratch. Probably. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Branch is a block card. Possible. It's heal hook. Eviscerate that one's even better. Which is, I guess, not difficult. He stole one. Gosh, this has been a struggle. Is it even like enough? It's barely. Wait, I don't even have enough energy. Oh, I guess we just do it with that bench then. I really want to do the burst catalyst thing. Right, real hard. In theory, this is still attacking me for 39. Something that I've noticed that I think is interesting. Okay. okay. Taking a deflect plus. 
I think Fair in a Bottle is better than Block Potion. I wonder if it's also better than Poison Potion. I think it is. Turn one. I made such a good deck, and then it got so much better when I just added a ton of random cards to it. It's so... It's so sad. Um... Can I evaluate which potions to keep over others? The simple answer to questions like that is I consider every turn left in the game. And I look at the one that is more likely to win. It's not a terribly satisfying answer to the question, though. I don't know if I need a Reflex Plus. I don't even know if I can discard it. Sometimes I can. I can often enough. Use a Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes would simplify everything. Yet. I'm still pretty bad at Act 4. Doesn't mean I'll lose Act 4, but I am not good at that part of the run yet. Let's hold Deflect Blur, maybe? Just the block cards. Where'd I leave off in Boulder's Gate 3? Yeah. Uh, I'm talking to some druids, I think. I just rescued a certain goblin from a certain place. I don't want to, like, spoil the game.
the best worst finisher that I've ever seen. The best worst finisher that I've ever seen. I won. Can I leave now, Nemesis? Ah, uh, can I be excused? My upgrade should definitely be on a power, because I'm just not drawing the cards that aren't powers enough for it to make sense to have them upgraded. Dodge and roll or piercing oil? I have double malaise, so I guess it's dodge and roll. Okay, which power? Well laid plans, footwork. Footwork. I think footwork. Classic of the boot. Another classic moment for the boot there. We'll play this. We'll play this. I'm going to hold on to burst and look for. Oh, I'm going to play this actually. One, two, three, or something. I take a bit of damage this turn. Not too bad. Very appealing nightmare. GG! Holy shit. I almost played Burst there without energy. Or less Catalyst. I had Concentrate in my hand anyway, it turns out, but I did not realize that as I was hovering Burst. Earring artifact stacked. Looks kind of miserable. I didn't know I had Concentrate while I was considering playing Burst, though. But you are right that I did. I'm infinite. Ooh. Going to double play blur here.
Does everyone agree that the best baseball game ever was Triple Play 98? Just want to make sure. Make sure we're all on the right page there. Like I won the fight. Act four. I have enough money for a decent chunk. Does anyone outside the US even know what baseball is? It's like a simpler version of cricket. Guess I want happy flower and two. should tell the Japanese about baseball. I've seen some Japanese baseball highlights. I think they know. I think they might do baseball better than Americans do. Well, it plans. Burst. Okay, burst. Malaise? It's an okay malaise. Bouncing Flask. It's a pretty good Bouncing Flask. Maybe just Bouncing Flask. That's all my damage, right? Do this. It would be cool if there were a good skill in my entire deck, but somehow there isn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my deck just doesn't actually have a good skill in it. I will buy an artifact charge and a waffle. I could swap my potions into speed pot, ancient pot, but I don't think I need to. I already have nine dexterity, right? I guess I still have a writhe. Well, it's not like I wanted to play a strike anyway. Kind of miserable. I have lethal. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what my hand actually is right now, is one of the weird things about having done brunch here. I don't think I'm playing Riddle, though. Oh, 
Huh. I can play Bash now if I want. Dash? Dash. Dash. It's called Dash. Seems... Okay? I think it's okay. Okay, Acro seems like a good one. Decent. Not bad. Do this in case it's deflect. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> I mean, it was actually even better. Not real. Jay Shuttlesworth thinks in 34 months. Seems less good. Easy? Oh my god, so easy. Reflect? Not real. Unreal. That is wild. Wild fight. Genuinely can't tell who's winning this fight. <laughs> well. I imagine we've worked it out now, yeah? Three flowers on two. Sweep the leg. Have double malaise. Gotta stick up tools. I don't know, like sleep's okay. I do need more block cards, in general. But tools is kind of like more block cards. I also need more ways to clear artifact stacks, actually. That might be the reason to take Leg Sweep. Let's take Leg Sweep. Okay. Look. Stomple? Gamble? That work. Not maneuver. This one. No bouncing class.
double light sweep. Yeah, blur. Something on the onto this is okay. It's even good. Dicking me down is a prisoner's right. This isn't... This isn't the Christian music I was told I would be listening to this stream. It's a twenty-five dollar donation to support. Translate. Appreciate it. Feels like not a bad concentrate. block that much more. I think I stopped playing shivs. I think I just want the energy now. Oh yeah. I don't entirely know what my line is here, but I'm pretty sure it wins. Seems like it would do it. Sixteen times nine is a lot, like three billion? Hope so. Not quite. It's enough though. GG. Do 
impossible to know your line with Dead Branch. Sometimes you can have a pretty good idea, though. Was that close? That was really bad at the start of Act 1, huh? Also, Slime Boss very nearly killed me. I was offered Runic Pyramid and Sneko and took pandas over them this run. I wonder if that's like the best possible boss relic reward screen. Probably not. Definitely spent some time on 2 HP today. Into the bathroom, I'll be right back.